Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf. We're back at CRS with Terry McBride. Here we are again. I know. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? It's uh, early. I'm doing well. Yeah, you're right. I, yes. I'm doing well because it's early. Yes. Uh, I've got a long day, but I know you guys do too. Yeah. So a lot of fun. Everybody's been good so far. So good. good to see you again. Good to see you again. Now, there's some things I want to talk about, but first let's talk about Boots Off and the oh. fact that that song has been charting and it's been yes. gaining momentum. Yeah, it really has. It's interesting. I mean, we're a tiny little indie <laughs> And so it's fun to see, uh, uh, you know, music, uh, if it's good or if people like it, they react. And that's kind of what's happening with the song, you know. Met a lot of, of uh, the programmers last night that are playing it. And, uh, yeah, it's exciting to see it. And you know, we didn't know what to expect. And, you know, we're limited on what we can do. So the song's got to do a lot of the heavy lifting. Yeah. <laughs> and so far, it's, it's pulled through for us. It, it really has. has. Yeah, yeah, it's been exciting. Been out doing some days to support it in certain markets that are playing it. And, so far, so good. Well, I love it. And I mean, Hotels and Highways is just a great album in general. Oh, I, thank I, you. I think it really captures who you are. Well, and, thank you. And, and your abilities. And I just, I absolutely love that Well, album. that's so nice of you to say. I appreciate that. I, I put a lot of time into it. It doesn't always mean it's going to, you know, work out or people right. are going to. But, uh, but it really is. I, and I appreciate you saying that. I tried to make it. I wanted songs that reflect a little bit of who I am, especially the Hotels and Highways. I've lived that song. So. That's what got the whole project started. You got I feel like you've got to have a song like that, you know, that you can connect with, or how is anybody else gonna connect, you know? Right. And then Boots Off, that's just, I love boots. It's just such an iconic thing. I use 15 pairs of my boots in my lyric video. Uh, I have a, a like, nice little boot collection over the years, and I'm a hoarder as well. I've kept almost everything, a little bit of a pack rat. I even have a pair of my dad's boots in there. My dad passed away years ago, but I have a pair of his show boots in there, a pair of baby blue Tony Llamas. But, uh, yeah, that's what kind of got that song started, just boots. And then the thought of, you know, you meet somebody you like enough that can make you stay a while and take your boots off. You know, I thought, that's pretty cool. And that's how the whole song got started. I love that. I, oh, I cool. love that it's just real life and you're able to incorporate <laughs> memories, too, of yeah. your childhood, right? Yeah, I absolutely. Mean. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I try to keep everything, a little bit of me moving forward. Even that lyric video, a lot of lyric videos are just the lyric and, oh, a mountain scene or whatever. Yeah. So I thought I'd at least like to have those boots in there. It is all of my boots. They have T-Mac on them. A lot of them have my initials on them. So those are mine, not Tim McGraw's. Right. Those are actually my <laughs> boots. But uh, I, I think that makes it a little special and a little more personal. And I know people pick up on that and seem to like it. So, so far, it's uh, it's been really good. Well, I love that. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about, which I know that we were just talking about, is the Tarmac Dancer video. <laughs> because when I first saw that, I was like completely wowed. And, and I love stuff like well, that. What are the and, odds of that happening, you know? I, I mean, know. you hear about a, vi a video going viral. You know, it's like you hear that, but really, what is that? And then... Yeah. Uh, there, I experienced it not only once, but twice now. I, I just, I happened to be leaving uh, Rochester, New York on a radio tour. I'd been up there for a week and uh, I had like a business class or something that day so I could get my guitar on, I'm sure. And so I got to sit up front. I, like, I just took the first row, first row, first seat. Yeah. And uh, got by the window and we're getting ready to, you know, pull away from the the terminal and uh, the wing walker guy I noticed the uh, flight attendant said always dancing I went what I looked out the window and the guy with the cones you know the batons uh -huh. he's doing a dance so I, and I never film a lot of things like here's what I'm eating for breakfast I'm really not one of those guys <laughs> but I had my phone I went I'm gonna film that so filmed it there he is doing this crazy dance as he's walking us you know backing us away and uh, by the time we got to Baltimore to connect uh, it already had a bunch of views. I went, that's cool. And Tony, who was with me, goes, man, that video could end up being viral. I went, oh, that's cool. Anyway, it took off slow, slow over the weekend. But three days or two days later, Monday morning, it had a million views. Wow. Then I think that video went to 12 million, 13 million views. So I went back to Rochester to do a benefit, Toys for Tots, for uh -huh. Christmas. And I met the tarmac dancer. We had been talking. He reached out to me. I met him. Kyron Ashford, great guy. So he set up a whole interview thing where we met. He interviewed, you know, he filmed it. Yeah, I saw then, that. Then the next day he goes, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you one more dance, and we're going to put you in the same seat, exactly the same seat. They took me on the plane early, introduced me to the pilot, all the flight attendants. Oh, wow. And they were excited about it because he's like a rock star there now, yeah, you know. Yeah. And so we're back in the plane away, and here he comes, and he was like over the top this time. He was oh. doing more crazy stuff than he did the first time. And the funny thing is, this one took off even slower. I thought, well, yeah. you know, they've seen the first one. It's not going to happen. And then all of a sudden it just 
took off. Now it's at 27 million. It's reached 62 million people, that one video clip. Isn't that great? It's unbelievable. I had to license both of those with a company called Juken Media the Disney owns, and that's what they do. They have a Chewbacca mom, you know. That's right, that's <laughs> right. They have right. that one. They, oh, they have the rat even. taking the pizza through the subway. They have that <laughs> one. And they now license that video for me. Whoever wants it and needs to use it. I mean, that that first one was on, Matt Lauer introduced it yeah. on the Today Show, you know. I mean, uh, uh, every newspaper in the country and around the world and I just had to funnel all those requests to this company and they take care of it, you know, and that's what they do. And then it's a, it's a YouTube page of its own. He has his own Tarmac page now. I mean, Tarmac Dancer, he's he's uh, rocking and rolling. Yeah, it was just crazy. But it, it brought a lot of interest to my page and a lot of fans that were even through that. It's crazy, but I'll take it. Well, and the best part for me is that it connected you to him yeah. and his family. And he, Very, just a wonderful guy. He's yeah. so joyful. That's what everybody loved about it. You can just see the joy in his yeah. movements and his face. And then at the end when he took the little bow, I mean, it just made people happy. Everybody wants a little bit of that in their day, you know, right. and that's why it took off. It just made people smile. The comments were unbelievable. You know, they, yeah. people just loved it. Well, and that's the thing. Like, there's so much negativity yeah. in the world. Yeah. So it, when you can find somebody dancing that's happy. it. And at work, dancing that's it. and happy. That's another your that's good, good point. That's what they comment on. It's like, yeah. I want that job. Yeah. Why can't I be that happy at my job? You're exactly right. They they saw the joy. And, he, you know, he's, he's such a sincere, positive person. He's like, you know, I see these people every day getting on this plane. I don't know where they're going. And he goes, and I only see them for about a minute or so. I thought, if I could bring a little happiness to them, I have no idea what they're going to, what they're dealing with, or what they're going through. And if I can make him smile, that's kind of where he's at, you know. And they let him do it, you know, for that particular airport. I know some guys like, now, if he was working at my job, they'd let <laughs> a guy like that get fired, you know. Right? But they love exactly. him there. They love him. That's but, uh, yeah, it, it's been an interesting little uh, experience, to say the least. You need to write a song about it now. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Use him in my next video, his right? little dance moves, for sure. Yeah, he's, he's a great guy. That would be great. Now, what else do you have coming up? What can you tell fans? Well, I'm on. I'm hitting the road. That's something new for me this year. I just finished three days of uh, a songwriter acoustic sort of series for me, which has uh, been really interesting because uh, I realize how naked you are with just you and your guitar. You know, I think I was in Omaha. I said, "Yeah, wouldn't this suck if I wasn't any good up here? Because there's really nowhere to hide behind just a man and his guitar." Right. But the crowds were fantastic and. Um, it was very encouraging, to say the least. Okay. So uh, I did a couple songwriter series just by myself. Then went down to Panama City, did a thing with Charles Kelly and Lee Bryce and Jared Neiman. That. that was really fun. Great yeah. crowd. Marty Rabin was part of that as well. And uh, that was really good. So uh, that's given me enough encouragement to go on to the next date. So <laughs> well, we're lining those up now. We're doing sort of a... Uh, uh, it's, I think it's called a Take Your Boots Off and Stay a While Tour is what oh, it's called. Fun. Yeah, oh, fun. yeah, that's what it is. So they're sort of selling that. My agent, you know, they've got to okay. have, we need an angle, you know, to whatever. <laughs> I said, run with it, whatever. That sounds yeah. good to me. But, yeah, so far so good. All right, that's awesome. Well, where can fans find you then? I anywhere. Terry McBride Music. Uh, put that in whatever you like to look at, your phone, your laptop, and yep. it'll take you right to me. Instagram, my website is the same, Terry McBride Music. Uh, Facebook, of course, and uh, yeah, you can keep up with me, what I'm doing, tour dates and so forth, but yeah, um, uh, it's great to see uh, yeah people getting on there and curious about what I'm doing, and Absolutely. great comments this week, just everybody's been yes. so good. And, and yeah. the fact that you get to man it yourself and run your <laughs> social media, that's Yeah, I like fun. it. Yeah, yeah, I like to stay on top of that. Facebook's been fun. Instagram is cool, too. I like that. Twitter is a little bit more involved. I, I it's one I too know. many almost for me. I, we have a, an office that we do have a social media person that helps for things like that. Really, for Twitter, we just share whatever I've done right. on Instagram pretty much. But those I take care of myself. That's all stuff I I either write or post and yeah. photos from me and things. And um, I think I can tell whoever's following me they like that. You know, it's interesting because I can post an ad where I'm playing or something about whatever, mm -hmm. and I, people will respond. But if I post a personal little yep. something, oh, man, it changes oh, yeah. everything. Absolutely. Yeah, it's interesting. Fans want to be connected to you personally. That's <laughs> it. And I don't do a lot. Every day I don't post something every single day. Like, here's my cheeseburger, you know. But, uh, and I, you know, I think it's more a little bit of quality instead of quantity yeah. for me. But that's the way it's going to have to be moving forward, you know. And an occasional tarmac dancer, you know, there when I go. see that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you heard him. So check him out on social media. Follow 
him on Facebook and make sure you check out his videos. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to our interview here at CRS 2018. Be sure to like us on social media, follow us, share us with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.